Hello, this is Angela DePaul, and this is my mother, Karen DePaul. We'd like to tell you about a book we wrote titled The Life of Sweet Hollow. It's the product of many years of research that we've done into the history of Sweet Hollow, including interviewing many residents who lived there when it was a neighborhood and other people connected to the place and obtaining photographs over the years. Our interest in Sweet Hollow began in 1977 when we moved into a former Ham family home across the street from the upper part of Sweet Hollow Park. For about a hundred years, Sweet Hollow was home to recently arrived immigrants in this country, uh, giving them a chance, giving them affordable ho housing so that they could establish businesses um, and make a better life for their families in this country. In 1956, the houses were destroyed, the residents were forced to move. And thereafter, for a couple of decades, the place was kind of forgotten about or neglected. And uh, in the 1970s, um, interest was rekindled in um, natural areas, including Sweet Hollow. And at the urging of citizens and uh, the Garden Club, led by Mrs. Dodge in particular, um, the Hollow was made into a city park. And today it is a great asset to the city of St. Paul, a wonderful place to visit. There are hiking and biking trails, many uh, wild animals and plants, and it's really a, a gem. And um, this book uh, is a picture caption book. It uh, traces the history of the neighborhood, uh, the immigrant era on through the development of the park and what it is today. And we would like for you if you would be interested to purchase a copy of this book. You can do so by visiting artinthehollow.org or you can look us up on Facebook at Art in the Hollow. Thank you very much.